What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I'm going to be continuing the ShareX series that I've been doing. In my previous videos, I've gone through disabling automatic image uploads and how to upload to Google Drive. Though in this video, I'll be covering something a lot more niche, and that's automatically uploading images to your own FTP website. What does this mean? Well, assuming you have web hosting, you can automatically upload images to the internet, share that link with other people, and keep your files privately on your website. So how exactly do we get to setting it up? Well, simply open up ShareX, head across to Destinations, Image Uploader, and then at the bottom, we'll click File Uploader. Then we'll simply locate FTP, which should be the second option from the top. I'll click on it, and then we'll head back two of these menus to this one over here, the Destinations menu. Then we'll click Destination Settings, and we'll locate FTP, FTPS, or SFTP over here. Then we can go ahead and start adding our account. For some reason, the text is extremely difficult to read, so I've simply gone into light mode for now, just so you can see what's going on. So when we get to this page over here, at the very top next to Accounts, we'll click Add. Then we'll start throwing in some of our FTP details. Name can be literally whatever you want. I'll call it My Image Upload. Then we'll select FTP, FTPS, or SFTP. Then below it, we'll put in all of our details from our web host. Of course, I'll have to keep all of these blurred. In this example, I'll be using my website, tcno.co. So I've gone to my web hosting service and I've collected not only my host, but my FTP username and my FTP password as well. After putting in all of these, we can leave it as passive, but sometimes you'll need to set it to active if your FTP service requires it. Then URL path, this will be your public URL. For me, my website is HTTPS tcno.co. As for remote directory, what exactly do we need to put in here? Well, to do this, simply head across to your FileZilla, FTP managing service, or anything like that, and then log into your website. Most of the time, you'll have some kind of public underscore HTML folder, and inside of that will be all of your web documents. So all we have to do is simply enter public underscore HTML forward slash, and then we'll put in something like, say, images. I don't have this on my website, so this is great. I'll simply go ahead and create the folder using my FTP service. Then when we get to this point, we're basically done. But of course, we can click append remote directory to URL path to get rid of this nonsense over here of public HTML images. Though of course, you don't have to put anything in here if you simply connect to your FTP and you see all of your web documents. But if you see the root directory with public HTML and a bunch of other Apache or other folders that aren't actually accessible by the internet, then simply make sure to include something like this depending on your web host. So of course, because it's in the images subfolder, I'll uncheck append remote directory because I don't want public HTML and I'll need to add images to this link over here. After doing this, we can simply hit test and we can see if it connects properly. And it seems to. So at this point, I'll simply close out of this window and I'll go ahead and take a screenshot. Upon taking a screenshot, I'll right click and click upload. Now it's connecting to our website and uploading the image. I'll right click on it, open URL. And then it goes ahead and opens up our browser and takes us directly to the image. As you can see, techno.co slash images slash explorer, etc., etc. PNG. This is the screenshot that we just took and it's hosted on my official website. If I get rid of it, you can see that I'm on the landing page of it. So it's really that simple. Of course, if you'd like to take these settings and put them on another computer with ShareX without having to copy them manually, simply click export and then copy to clipboard, save to file or upload as text, though I wouldn't recommend this last one. Then if you'd like to bring it in on another computer ShareX, simply click import from clipboard or from file. Again, I wouldn't recommend a URL. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found it somewhat useful. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.